Hi everyone, I'm back with another live because this is just going to be my go-to for a little bit. Although I did get um, some progress made with figuring out the GoPro camera situation. I got rid of the big tripod in this room and um, my husband found an attachment that he already had actually for that. So um, I'll probably be recording again before long too, but I figure... Um, Today, I think I have this little window of time um, just taking my lunch right now so that I can do this while um, my child is occupied for his quiet morning time. So I will hang out for a minute and see if anyone shows up, but I haven't posted this anywhere or anything, just um, kind of hanging out and have some things to show from Make Playing Cards. So I think these things I ordered... Um, possibly October, November. Um, it would have been late October if it was October. Um, and they just arrived, I think, two days ago. So today is Monday, January 4th. And I think these came um, up, like maybe on the 2nd or something like that. So a few things to show. One thing is missing from the box, um, but there wasn't like an inventory sheet. So I don't know I'm going to have to look at my emails and see what the first um, shipping notification was and, and see if there's still one waiting because I think I'm supposed to have a mini deck in here as well. Um, but we'll see. I'll have a sip and see if anyone shows up. Mm. First sip of the day, right? Something special about that. So... Um, I have also made some progress on my room. Um, didn't get quite as much done um, that first day as I thought I might, but um, I just, we just had some things going on and I'll probably wait to see if some people show up before I get into that. But um, I will start kind of slicing open these decks and that will give, if anyone is gonna show up, give a few minutes. Um, so I unboxed it because it was kind of in a big um, rectangle box that had like the fold over on the side and it was actually really easy to open but I didn't want to test it while um, I was live. So we'll see here if I can just get into the plastic. So this first one is, if I can manage not to cut my cards, this first one is RWS 2.0 and I'm terrible right now because I can't remember um, the creator's name and this like I said there was no inventory list in the um, or invoice in um, in the box and so there were I don't have a reminder what the creator's name was so sorry about that but this is the RWS 2.0 and I saw this on a couple channels, but then I saw, oh, Chris is here. Hi, Chris. So I saw this on um, on a few channels. I'm sure I saw it on Simon's channel, but then when I really started paying attention, like I knew I liked it then. Um, Jackie, hi friends. Okay, so when I always, was drawn to this deck because of the colors and they're just so awesome um but when robin showed it on his um maybe like on his 2020 favorites or something like that some kind of favorites video um i think this is his actual favorite um his current all-time um oh good i'm so glad I thought I kind of rearranged, um, I'm taking my lunch hour right now <laughs> because I figure um, today's more like a normal scheduled day for Max. So this is his normal like quiet time upstairs. So hopefully we're good. <laughs> and I thought I would just rearrange. So these are the bags. Um, this is my little unboxing, um, a little mini haul from Make Playing Cards. So I have RWS 2.0 and this is another one that I bought a duplicate um, to have as a giveaway deck. So. Um, that's in my little giveaway pile now too. So I want to say that this is Robin's favorite and and also like I said I think um, I'm sure I've seen this on Simon's channel. Now the light right now we're getting is like reflecting a bunch of snow so these are going to be a little more washed out than they actually are um, 
but like really nice, um, really nice color scheme to these. Yeah, they really are, Chris. It's just, it's just a nice kind of, to me, it looks realistic. Like this crazy sunset, um, like we have those, you know, so while it might look a little like dramatic or, um, you know, that like dramatic ambient color or whatever you want to call it, it's, um, yeah, like I see sunsets or sunrises like that, right? So to me, it's, um, it's sort of reflective of, you know, realistic coloring and I just really love it. So Finally broke down and got it. How can I do this one? There we go. Um, and even the Hierophant is like a little more, there's sort of less ambient color in this one, but I think I like that. I don't know. It's interesting. And the Lovers. That purple is just amazing. Yeah, Jackie and Chris, how are you? I thought the 2.0 was borderless or maybe trimmed or different editions. Oh, I don't know, actually. You could be right. There could be different versions or, like you said, maybe it was trimmed. I'm just now looking at these. Um, and does this... So, yeah, the color extends out past the border. Oh, I was going on about how I didn't know the name of the creator, but it's James Rickliffe. It's here on the side. So I bet you have seen it trimmed um, because people probably wanted this off the side. I don't know why I can't. So you're probably right, Jackie. I bet a lot of people have trimmed it. I don't know if I'm that brave. I've edged a bunch of decks because I don't really care if... Well, on most decks, I would say I don't really care if it bleeds over a bit. Some of them I wouldn't touch, but um, I haven't trimmed any yet. I tried to trim one once with like a really terrible pair of scissors. And of course, it went terribly. So I only did like one and a half cards. And I don't know. It's kind of a cheesy deck anyway. So I might try to fix it someday. But anyway. Oh, both of you are back to work tomorrow Jackie says back to work tomorrow p.m. Uh, well I'm glad I'm rearranging my schedule today to be here because I thought I don't like now that I'm working from home um, I don't really take a super long lunch like I get an hour and I hardly ever use the full hour um, and I thought I would use the hour today and just do it in the morning because um, I usually just eat now while I'm working since I'm at home so it's whatever I figured this would work better but yeah Gorgeous hermit card. I'm trying to find where you can kind of see it, but but yeah, super love this. So that's that my 2.0. And um, I was babbling to myself um, when I first started this. Do I have a bag for this? No. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure I do, but just not in reach. So. Um, I was babbling when I started this that, um, what was I saying? Hmm. Oh, that I think I ordered these like late October or early November and they just came a couple days ago, um, from make playing cards and I, which is fine. I expected it was going to take a while. Um, some, but I got like my CS tarot. Um, and I can't remember if I did both linen, but I ordered a mini one too, I think, with um, the black backs. And the mini's not in this box, so I'm hoping that it's just shipping separately. But why would they send everything else? I don't know, so I'm kind of worried about that. I'll have to get into my email. So this, I got the two copies of the 2.0. And then my CS Tarot. This is my first one of these, so um, I knew, though, that it was on my list. I am not like super into like getting a bunch of RWS, but I say that, but now they're just like really gorgeous virgins. So now I am, I guess, but still not like to a crazy amount. Um, I find myself wanting to spend more on just like new, new, different, beautiful creations. But for these, I mean, I just had to. So I guess occasionally there's something that I 
Um, oh, that feels nice. It's kind of, um, yeah, the MPC linen cardstock. This is my first deck like this, or is my Veronica Jude linen? No. My Veronica Jude's are plastic and the smooth matte. So this is my first linen from MPC, and I like it. It's really nice. So I have the original with amber backs and the plastic black back CS Tarot. Yeah, see, I don't remember if I got both in linen or if I tried, if I did different card stocks, but I'm pretty sure I did the mini in black. Um, and I love mini to go with my regular decks, so I hope it's, I don't know. I'll just have to email. I'll have to figure it out. So, yes, you've seen this. There's something on my fool. Hold on. Let me clean this. Good grief. Oh, okay. It looks like it's coming off, but it's like maybe, I don't know what it would have been, but it has come off, so no worries. So here's my CS with the um, orange bags. Oh, Chris, behind the times with the plastic decks. I don't have very many, I guess, um, but I do, oh, yes, I do, because um, I have almost every deck from Labyrinthos, which is the creator of um, the Seventh Sphere tarot and Lenormand and all that. Um, I don't have whatever her or their um, black and white cards are that has like the rainbow stripe on the box. It's called like Prism something, but no, I'm just thinking about all the other rainbow stuff I have on the way. Um, can't think of what it's called, but luminous spirit or something it's like a black and white one and that one didn't really grab me but my point is every other deck that they make I have and they're all in plastic now they're coming out with RWS version of the seventh sphere and I did a um a side by side a while ago of like the um um I don't want to say the prototype deck but they gave away a free deck if you ordered the the book from Barnes and Noble and that one was just like regular like cardboard stock. But the one from the site, which is going to come out this month, yeah, Seventh Sphere is lovely. And so the RWS version of that is coming out this month and the pre-orders have been live and I actually haven't pre-ordered it yet because I don't know why I was trying to be good. But I will have it. And I saw someone say that the RWS Seventh Sphere is not plastic, but I don't know. Um Everything else I have from Tina Gong at Labyrinthos is plastic, and I have Seventh Sphere Tarot and Lenormand. I have the Golden Thread Tarot and Lenormand, all plastic, and something else, uh, Arcana Isis Tarot, Lenormand, and Astrology deck, because I'm obsessed. So those are all plastic, and I opted for one of my Veronica Jude decks in plastic, and... I might have one more that I'm forgetting about right now, but so far I like all the plastic stuff I have. It's really great, but I love like this too. This cardstock is great. Um, so you know what this looks like. Let me find something especially lovely to show. Page of Cups. Just really nice. So I'm happy to be adding this um, to my collection. Jackie says, wow, is that about all my plastic collection <laughs> from Seventh Sphere? I just love them so much. Now I will say, I don't know if um, either of you saw the side-by-side -side I did of Seventh Sphere and the new RWS, um, like regular cardstock version, but the eyes on the people, there's only, there are only people in the majors in that deck, but the eyes are kind of crazy on those people um, and they have been fixed. I'm saying fixed. They've been changed to my preference of less crazy in um, the new one. Um, but aside from that, like that's the one thing I love Seventh Sphere in and out and upside down, like just the whole thing. I don't know how close they are to me. Hmm. I just saw something else I could show you that's cool that no one else has because that's how special I am. 
So yeah, a couple art cards. I don't know if these are all the same. If you have a CS, you probably have these. Um, so those are really cool. I really need to kind of start separating stuff and getting my little tarot journal. Like I want to do one with like art cards that come with everything because right now they're just kind of all sitting. Um, I either want to make a big deck of just all those extra art cards or, um, or journal them. I don't know. I haven't decided. So a thing that maybe you haven't seen, I don't know where to set this either. Need more bags. Okay. I'll put these over here. So, um, so this is a Lenormand deck. Now the measurements were given on the description. These are also for make playing cards, <laughs> but I don't ever read the numbers. By the way, Jackie, I had a major line today. It was close to 11 a.m. before I was proper up and about. Not quite as hardcore as Elle, but I reckon she'd be proud. Oh, Chris, that's nice. That's nice. You should take advantage of your, you know, your last day off. Kristen, hi. Empress Tarot. Is that a new, did you add that? I think you did. So this, we're going through a little mini haul I got from Make Playing Cards. And this, again, the description was there. Um, but I don't pay attention to what the measurements are. I just saw that one was bigger than, than the mini, which this is kind of like Lenormand, regular Lenormand size. And this is a giant Oracle size. Um, yes, I just added it. Not sure I will keep it though. Well, I like it. It's, it's cool to try out different things. So, I mean, this is kind of cool. I won't use this obviously in big Lenormand spreads, but anyway, this is called the Scrying Ink Lenormand. And since I've ordered this on my playing cards, I've come across this on Etsy and there's like a legit book that goes with this but I think you have to buy another deck. <laughs> so I'm going to probably do that. And then I'll add that extra deck to my giveaway pile. Treasures just keep growing, which is fine. So let's take a look at these giant ones. That's what I get for not paying attention to numbers, but it's fine. I would have, I would have gotten it anyway, because it's hard for me, as I've said before, to pass up a set of like one size and then a mini. It's just hard for me to do. Oh, Jackie says she's just woken up. Is that Elle? <laughs> okay. Elle is so sweet. She's like one of the first people that was always saying hi to me in chats. You know what I mean? Not that it's anyone's job <laughs> to like, you know, just appease me and always say hello, but, um, it's just so nice. I always think about that. Okay. But she probably gets that from Jackie, right? Because Jackie says hi to everyone. Okay. Um, I love that font. I'm a big nerd for nice fonts. You know, I was just thinking last night um, that I was, I've been working on this room. Um, and for those of you who are in, um, Ellen and Shane taught me how to riffle shuffle. <laughs> yeah, Jackie always says hi to me. And it's like, I, I almost don't even want to mention that because again, it's not like some people are listening, some people, you know, so there's no pressure or anything. I don't always say hi to everyone, but it was just a nice thing. And that's what I, that's just when I think about Elle, like she was the first person that always was calling me out, you know, it's just sweet. Um, but about the fonts, um, I've been working on cleaning this room. And for those of you who were in my um, first live the other day, I um, I had given myself that midnight deadline to clean this room. And while I have been making progress, I actually did not finish it because um, at just after 3 p.m. on Thursday, my grandmother passed away. And so, um, which was just a few hours after that live. Um, and... Um, it was sort of expected. I mean, she's, she was 96 and she had been moved into an assisted living home, um, just before Thanksgiving. And then actually the day that she died, she was being moved to a new room. Um, she was in that new room, um, in a hospice room for about 45 minutes. And 
thankfully because it was the day she was moving to a new room my mom was allowed to be there and so my mom was with her uh, when she passed away which is, I mean I can't ask for anything more but um it's just tough because I haven't been able to see her um I actually did see her in August and gave her a hug then um you know I was had my mask on but um it's just I didn't stay around her very much you know it was just a quick thing because of course you know, the whole pandemic situation. And my cousin had an outdoor baby shower. And that that's the only social thing I've done this whole time, except for with my one friend, Julie, who is in, like, we're in a bubble together so that she can take care of my son if it's absolutely needed. Or, you know, we take a little break every once in a while, I take a day off and take him over there. So anyway, just babbling. Um, so long story short, my room is not done, but I have made um, have made some progress and I can actually walk in here now without doing acrobatics to get to my little table. So um, doing pretty well. And um, depending on my workload this week, I might just kind of take take off a couple hours early from work, which is, you know, my couch. That's why I work now. But um, I might take off some time in the afternoon this week and um, and get this room finished up. So Back to the font situation, Kristen, I was going through this room because there are bags of things in here that are like precious to me, but they're not necessarily tarot stuff um, or there's tarot stuff mixed in. So I have to um, kind of sort through it. And I found my box of like wedding programs and RSVPs and things like that. And I had to smile because my cousin, who is a graphic designer, she created a font for us for our wedding like she designed our invites and everything and and like I knew that but it just I haven't seen it in a few years and when I opened the box and saw that I'm like wow we are so cool having our own font and I just super love it so um anyway that's one of the little treasures I've come across um thank you Jackie so um so here's these giant Lenormand cards let's get into this <laughs> craziness yeah, it will be so great. I I posted um um in the cave. Oh, nice, Kristen. See, yeah, that's why you're a nerd for fonts. I mean, I am too, and I do not have that artistic capability, but my cousin certainly does, and she's amazing. So I hear Max. So here we go again. Just so you know, I think he's just being a train, though. So again, this is his normal quiet video time. The other day it was a little later because it's weird holiday, so I think it wasn't working as well. But I may have to <laughs> I may have to run up. So here's the anchor. Now these are really washed out because of the snow reflection outside. Oh there we go. So anchor. This is called the scrying ink Lenormand. Bear. But these are definitely oracle size. So if you're on make playing cards and you're looking for this, there's a big size and a mini. And this one is definitely, why can't I do this? There we go. These are oracle size straight up. Birds. So it has just like the little bit of ink, right? It's like black and white with a tiny bit of color. This one just kind of has like a tiny blue wash like right here. Some have a little more than others. But these... And the cardstock is like so buttery smooth. It's really, really nice. The bouquet. The broom. Yeah, Lime Strider Tarot. That's actually one I don't have. And I'm surprised because I'm, I really enjoy that. But I think just because I have um, Wild Unknown and stuff like that. Um, not, not that they're exactly the same by any means. But... Um, and that's not to say that I don't get similar decks. Some people are like, well, I have this deck, so I didn't need that one. And I'm just like, add to cart. Um, but again, it just depends on what it is. But I do often think about um, Line Strider. And um, um, is it the Otherkin Tarot or Oracle that's by the same creator? Oh, look at the child. I'm, I just really looked at this because I was watching chat. I love a little deer. That's amazing. Um, cloud. That's interesting. Still kind of has a dark side though, which is cool. But Clover, look at those blues. 
I'm a sucker for that, obviously. The coffin. Cross. Oh, so these aren't, aren't in order. But that's fine. We'll just count, make sure they're all there. I'm like, wait, the coffin. Crossroad. Because cross should be our 36. So you'll see that there's no numbers or playing card associations on these. But that's fine for me. I have some like that and some without. So crown's gorgeous. The dog. I don't know. Um, I still need to look at my open portals from the other day. Remember when I was having all those issues because I couldn't figure out what we, which was light and dark? And then I opened, Mendy said, you know, the dark ones have like a black or a gray circle on the outside. And I opened one of those and it was still um, crown. Good question. I'm not even paying attention. Um, no, it's not. I think this is one that has extra, like a few extra, um, like fortune telling cards in it. I have one just to be able to say I have one. Oh, I've never read with Lenormand, Kristen said. Oh, I, I love Lenormand so much. It's amazing. And you could always use that like as an oracle or whatever. I just love, I don't know. I'm just obsessed um, crown is not one. So let's put that aside and we'll count and see what we have here. So with the open portal situation I was having the other day, I don't know what just made me think of this, but I don't know if I, I still need to open the other ones. I bought a, a black and a white or a light and a dark for a giveaway um, and a light and a dark for myself, but I need to crack open the other ones because I don't think they're the right thing because I think I opened one that's supposed to be dark and it's light. So I need to check. Chris plans to take um, Kelly Fitzgerald, Lenormand, and playing card classes this year. That's going to be awesome. I really am going to try hard to take the Lenormand class because, as I was saying the other day, I've um, I've been reading Lenormand um, heavily for probably the past year and a half since um, like June 2019, but I haven't taken a class. I've watched all of her stuff on it, and that's where I got most of my notes and really learned how to do it. Um, but I do, I think I just want to take the class and it'll be fun to like interact with people. Um, and I think I can figure that out in the summer, um, should be a little easier to work that into my schedule. So here we have female and fish, fox, the garden. Look at that. Mm, I love this. The heart, this reminds me of Naked Heart Tarot with the anatomical heart. The house. Oh, the other thing. That's cool. Look at that house. The other thing. Why do some have tiny playing cards on them and some don't? So that's just... Um, so the, the more like historical, traditional ones have... The playing card association because in the original um game of hope um i'm going down a lenormand rabbit hole so lenormand is named after someone with the name the last name lenormand and it wasn't really her system though um she was a card reader but not with the lenormand system and after her death they sort of just posthumously named it um that af after her for this like like marketing push basically um yeah the heart's cool right um so basically there are playing card associations um attached to lenormand cards um some people use those um sort of supplemental meanings with it and some don't um but the idea was then you could play like if you were playing the game of hope which is what the lenormand cards really are then you would use those playing card um, associations to like tie in part of the meaning, if that makes sense. So you don't have to have them because like when I do a Lenormand reading, I don't use, um, I don't reference those hardly ever. Um, I know what most of them are. And um, I do work with playing card divination, but I don't usually mix those two. So some people do, some people don't. Um, so I don't like, I, 
don't think I have any that have like the old school, like right in the middle because I really irritates me that it like takes part of the artwork away. Um, and maybe it does to you too as a graphic designer. I don't know. It drives me nuts when it's like covering just anything. <laughs> I'm like, I want to see the rest of that sky. It makes me insane. So most of my Lenormand decks just have like the little like K heart down here or something that's like, like unobtrusive. So anyway, um, I don't know what I was babbling about before that. The letter. That's interesting. Like the hawk, I think, carrying a letter. That's cool. The lily. Male. That's cool. The mice. Oh, why do they look so pathetic and cute? They're supposed to be destructive force, but they look pretty cute there. The moon. So this is really nice and dreamy. The backs are kind of this gray marbly. Yeah, I don't like that. See, I don't like that either. But don't worry, because if you want to become obsessed with Lenormand, there are many decks that I can point you to that don't have that <laughs> the playing card insert is what they call it. Rider. The ring. No, I'm looking for extra cards like Chris. Oh, scissors. Okay, right. So I was just saying. Chris pointed out the crown is not a Lenormand card, but I think this is one. Um, I've noticed a few decks on make playing cards will have like the extra fortune telling cards in it so you can make a bigger deck, kind of like um, the maybe Lenormand that has goes up to 52. Um, most of them that I've seen on make playing cards that have extras have like six or eight extras. So the scissor. Now the question is, is this supposed to be the scythe? So I'll make a third pile. We don't know about that one. The ship. And like I said, I probably will have to get on Etsy and buy another one of these. Um, I'll do the mini version if it's available with the big book because I want the big book for something like this. I think it'll be awesome. The snake. Gilded Reverie is a nice one. That is a nice one. I actually don't have that um, just because they're a little bit bigger. Um, and so a smaller deck would have won out for that for me. But that's not to say I won't add it someday. The stars. This is nice. Like kind of reaching through. I like that. The stork. I'm wondering if maybe the crown is instead of the tower. Oh, Chris, look at you. The sun, I like that. I'm not typically huge on faces in the sun and moon, but I don't mind that. I like the colors, how there's that kind of darkness. Reminds me of sound garden, right? Black hole sun. Oh, here's the tower though. That was a good thought though, Chris. That was really, that was next level there. Because in in Lenormand, the tower is this sort of like elevated, ascended. Um, I mean, you can read more into it, but it's this sort of isolation and time for reflection, right? Not like the tarot tower. Hmm. Very interesting tree. I wonder if I'm forgetting completely about something that that the crown would be in place for. Probably the whip. Oh, woman and butterfly okay so butterfly is not one and there's a woman card but no man card we had male and female <laughs> what is happening so scissor must be scythe because i didn't see one right but then we have the crown of the woman and the butterfly you guys what's going on <laughs> that doesn't make sense does it Maybe the woman is just like an art card. Maybe originally this creator was going to do man and woman and then switch to male and female and you just get a woman card. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Now, I think, again, in the description on make playing cards, it says, hey, this includes these extra cards, but there was no invoice. You know, it doesn't. You don't get that reminder when you get the decks. Butterfly equals rider. Oh, uh, nope, we had a rider. So let me count and make sure everything's here. Oh, they're in alphabetical order, first off. 
So that's why they're not in Lenormand order. So I just figured that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Here's our rider, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Damn it. What is happening? Because then the scissors are 37. So did I... I might have to get out some houses to help me count. So that's without the extras. <clears throat> so there's 40 all together. <clears throat> Let's everyone just take a breath and take a sip of your coffee while I figure this out. Hmm. Okay. There's not an extra extra, right? Anchor is a thing. Bear. Birds book okay oh got it the broom and the whip okay so broom and the whip are the same in Lenormand um, your deck usually will just come with one or the other in the German tradition which is what I primarily use as a pseudo student of Kelly Fitzgerald is the whip yes Chris yep um, I don't know, your comment just popped up about are the whip and the broom not normally the same. So yes, they are. Um, so in the German tradition, they typically use the whip um, as a something repetitive and negative, um, something you don't want to be happening over and over again, right? This is, you know, this is an obstacle to get through, overcome. Um, if you don't like the violence suggested in the whip, or you don't like um, perhaps the sexual nature um, implicated by the whip, um, some creators will have a broom option for you instead. And the broom is it does have the same meaning from um, traditional um, fortune telling type cards. So um, you can use the broom. Um, some people might even swap out the whip for the lily. So in, um, in the French tradition, the lily is, um, is about, um, purity and the whip is about, um, like intimacy and sexual connection. So there's lots of like alternates along the way, right? So if you were reading French tradition, maybe you would put, um, maybe you would get rid of the whip altogether and use the broom, and then your lily would be purity, but then, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? There's like this alternate card, alternate card, and there's kind of like this link. So this is, these would be like, you know, you could choose one or the other here. And again, the description on make playing cards probably says this, and I just don't remember because there's no paper in the box, and there's no book for this. So those are like options. So this really equals 36 and then 37, 38, 39. So we have a butterfly and a crown as just extra, um, extra oracles or extra symbols. Um, and then we have a woman card. I don't know. I'm interested to see what's in the mini. I'm guessing again, a woman card's just um, a like an art card and I will keep the male and female symbols in here as my normal what I'm using for that so let's see what the mini has I don't know how long I've been on by the way but so far so good with Max upstairs so we'll just chill for a little bit at some point I'll get to work today okay don't cut the box So scissors are the scythe. <laughs> okay. 
excited to see. And I really hope my mini CS Tarot is on its way to me. I don't want to have to bug people about it, but I know I got a mini because I just went all out. I thought, hell, I'm here on the Make Playing Card site, which is difficult enough. Oh, 39 minutes. Thanks. <laughs> um, I don't want to take up. So Anchor, Bear. Oh, I love, I love, I love little decks. And so um, this is part of the reason why I'm obsessed with the Normand, but I just, I really love the reading style of it. Um, really, really love it. Okay, child, I need to kind of dig in. I'm so bad, like I'll do readings for other people, um, but then I'll just draw cards for myself, like for my birthday, which was end of September. I did um, like a year ahead. Um, well, I shouldn't really call it. I treat it like three months usually when I do a grand tableau. So I did my my birthday spread basically, and I still haven't pulled it apart and like written down what I think about it. I just drew the cards and snapped a picture. I'm just so terrible. You could use the bigger cards as the houses and the smaller as the reading deck. That I probably will do, even for houses, these are pretty big. Like this would fill up my whole, like I have this square table. Um, but, oh, there's a Kelly connection, hold on. But um, yeah, I probably will, I probably will. Like for a nine card, that would probably, that would probably be great. Here's the clover. Now I thought this was kind of blue in the other one and this looks purple now, but maybe I was only looking in the camera lens. But these I think are by and large the same. Cross. So the dog, which there are two dogs, that's cute. So yeah, these are the same, same, same letter, Lily. Oh! You guys, this is a problem. Fuck. Though maybe not because I'm not going to use it. Look, there's a man. Man card. And my big deck doesn't have that. But I don't know if I'm going to bother them about that because I'm going to use male and female anyway. So I might just treat that woman card as um, like as an art card. But I kind of want a full thing, don't I? I don't know. The backs on these look more swirly because they're smaller. I don't know if you care about these details, but. Hmm. This man card looks kind of crazy. Like why? Like look at his eyeball is like he's got like one zombie eye. I don't know. Hmm. Shoot. Mountain, scissors, ship, snake, blah, 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 sun, tower, tree. Oh, interesting. So in the mini, um, the whip and the broom are the same card. So all that babbling I did about swapping out cards, I guess you could still do with the big one, um, whip and broom. That's interesting. Ring, rider, moon, fish, and mice. Okay, so these, okay. The mini doesn't have, <laughs> yeah, it looks very Odin-like. The mini does not have the male and female, which I really enjoyed <laughs> in the big deck. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get on Etsy and buy that book, see what's going on. So the mini does not have, which I'm calling it mini. This is like a regular Lenormand size. This size does not have the male and female cards, just man and woman, but they're both there. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Scissors are still the side that stay the same. Six, seven, eight, nine. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. There. You can watch me count cards. Okay, so this has been interesting. 
not really sure about that bigger deck, but it still functions as a complete Lenormand. Um, I would take these extra ones probably out if I'm doing a green tableau, but I'm all about extra cards. And I, aside from the woman, because I don't want an extra person energy in there, if I'm just drawing out for like a nine card, I probably would keep the butterfly and crown in um, and just see how it lands, right? What comes up. So I don't mind that. Um, yeah, so interesting about this. All right, it's fine. Everything's fine. I don't even want a man card on a big deck. So, and again, maybe I'm not really missing anything. Maybe this person just included the woman as an art card. The big deck has male and female and the little one has man and woman. And those, like Chris said, I could they're both a full deck I could still use houses and so um Kristen if you're not sure about what that is so like you lay down the cards um 1 to 36 in order which these don't even have those numbers um but like the tower is 19 um so and then you would put you'd put them out in order so in the 19th somewhere in the middle you would then shuffle your smaller deck um, for the actual reading and then you would lay those out in the order that you shuffled them and then whatever card lands on the tower um, the tower would be the house okay no clue what we're talking about so the it's kind of like spread placement cards right so the tower um, you can mix up your houses too some people get crazy and do that but I I do that sometimes just to play but I typically will do um, 1 to 36 in order um, and then, so like the towers in the 19th spot in that big grid that you make, and then you shuffle your little deck and put them on top. And let's say I get the rider, um, in the house of the tower, and then you read those in conjunction with each other. How does the rider act within, um, the tower space, right? That element. So, um, Kelly Fitzgerald describes that as, you know, I act different in my own house than I do in my grandmother's house. Right. So how does um, and maybe not drastically, I don't know, because my grandma was a partier. So um, I acted pretty much the same as I do. But just as an example, right, I act different in um, when I'm teaching dance, when I'm in the dance studio than I am when I'm in my house. I act differently in the grocery store. Right. So how does the rider act um, in the house of the tower? So that's what houses are in Lenormand. And that's part of the reason I love it so much. I love just all those little placements and pockets and how does this, the more associations and shit that you can just pile onto a thing. I love that. I love that. So, so I really love these. I probably sounded a little um, perturbed about trying to figure out the card situation, but again, the book probably explains that and I'll be getting that on Etsy. So you can get these, um, the Scrying Ink Lenormand, on make playing cards or on Etsy. And if you are a book person, um, and I am, because even if I, I hardly ever crack open a book when I'm doing a reading for myself or other people, but I will, I will just sit and read a tarot book, like a tarot guidebook, right? I just, that's just adding to my knowledge. Like I will always, I'm just a book person. So I'm going to buy, if you want the book, just go to Etsy instead of make playing cards because I didn't see it on MPC as an option. So if you want the book, go to Etsy. Um, the creator is Ciolo Thompson, S-I-O-L-O -O Thompson. Um, so yeah, super love these. Um, you're welcome. Um, do I have other things to show you? Do you want me to keep going? Do you have things to do on your last day off? We can wrap up or I can show. Um, I have a really cool deck I could show you. Oh, the other day, you guys, when I said seven times that I spent so much money on the Los Carabeo sale, not Los Carabeo, U.S. Games. So whenever that box shows up of my 10 decks that I went crazy <laughs> for, um, I, this really is not probably going to be like an unboxing or like a haul kind of channel, but you know, holiday haul, that was my first live because that's a time when I do spend my extra money on stuff like that. So, um, just so you know, I won't be, um, weekly unboxing 10 decks. 
<laughs> so that was U.S. Games, though. So I have um, like the pocket edition of Dreams of Gaia because I've wanted that for a long time. You can keep going if you want it again, but if you need to get yourself some lunch and don't let us keep you. You are so sweet. No, I don't need lunch. I'm still working on coffee and, you know, it's fine. I'm still a bit under my hour, I think. I am waiting on five decks. One was a Christmas gift that still hasn't come. Well, that's very cool. I only had one. Um, what are you waiting on, Kristen? Um, I... One of my nephew's Christmas gifts, well, both of them, I got him two books and I got my niece a book. Um, what time zone are you in? I am in Eastern Standard Time, so I'm in Michigan. Um, I love my state so much. Um, so we look like a mitten, right? You know this? <laughs> um, Kristen, are you, you might be in the States. Are you in Canada? I might be remembering things incorrectly. But if you're in Canada, then we're sort of next to it. Um, but anyway, so it is just about 10 a.m. here. It's 9.59 in the morning here. And Chris is talking about lunch because I'm, ta I'm taking an early lunch break. Oh, you're in Ohio. So we're still connected, right? <laughs> Indiana and Ohio. Touch the bottom of Michigan, right? Kelly Fitzgerald lives in Ohio. Did you know that? We're going to be real life friends someday. I'm going to go see her and I can come see you too. I'm such a crazy person. I'll come see you too. Okay. That's sorry. Tarot de Napoleon, Tarot de Paris. Ooh, a bunch of fancy things. The Dodal, Madhouse Tarot and Money Tarot. Wow. That's a nice combination of things. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I also really, um, people talk about a bucket list and I'm just not really one of those people. Like, it's fine that you are. I guess I'm just not very like adventurous or something. <laughs> I don't know. But I remember being in high school and people saying, oh, I can't wait to move away from here. You know, they were going to college out of state, which is great. And I think it's great to go see a new place. And like, I think about when I'm on vacation somewhere, which isn't super often, but, and how like magical that is. So like, I, I get that, but I never had this like burning desire to leave Michigan. I don't know. My family's here and I love it here. Um, so even, you know, just not talking about moving, um, about visiting places, you know, there are a couple um, places I would like to go, but I don't really have like a bucket list until I became part of this tarot community. And I was like, I have to go see my friends in the UK, my friends, like, I mean, and we are like, I'm getting to know people and things like that. But sometimes I feel like a crazy person because I'm like, okay, my bucket list is like to go see Simon, right? Just make him hang out with me. So just a fun fact that I didn't have a bucket list until um, I was in the tarot community and now I want to hang out with other tarot people <laughs> because we're a happy little cult, right? Um, Chris says, I've not bought anything yet this year. I pre-ordered Tarot of the Holy Spectrum, but I think that was before New Year. Oh, very nice. I think I'm also four days tarot sober. So look at us go. I don't think... So my no-buy was... Which I failed... <laughs> Um, was through January 1st because I ordered things on December 1st. Um, I had to wait until then um, just for a lot of reasons to get some gifts. But with that gift purchase, I also bought something for myself. So I had to go through January 1st. Um, and really, I think my U.S. games, <laughs> Jackie, yeah. Yeah, I want to come see my friends, my tarot friends. Um, I hear there will be a Midwest meetup post-pandemic. There are a bunch of us around Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Maryland. I That would be awesome because I've seen a few people, like in Simon's chat, say that they're from Michigan. Like someone was talking about the weather one day, about like a storm warning or something. And I'm like, that's weird. We're also in a storm warning. And it was someone that was like in the Detroit area. And I used to live out that way, but north. Um, I lived like in the country. Like we didn't have... Um, enough internet to like have Netflix, for example, where we lived before we moved here. So it's a really lucky that we moved here. 
um, moved into this house like two weeks before the pandemic started because I don't know if I would have really been able to reliably work from home. Well, oh, that's crazy how it all worked out. But um, anyway, um, let's see. So I have a couple little things here that I haven't like unwrapped yet. So look how cute. These are from um, the White White Witch Oracle. Oh, am I mixing things up? I think that's right. So it's these, um, the Witch's Familiar runes, right? Um, and Kelly Fitzgerald has shown this on her channel and they're super gorgeous. So me being extra, I had to just order everything that this creator offered because I think they're so beautiful. Jilly and Jason Michael are in Pennsylvania. Oh, I don't know Jason Michael. Oh, Justin Michael. Is that who you mean? Or is there a Jason? Jilly? Yeah, because Justin's in, in PA. Mendy is in Maryland. Yeah, we should do that. Oh, that's fun. Kristen says, I almost bought that. So I, let's open these little cuties, okay? Because again, little deck. Have to have it. Justin, okay. Yep. I was like, oh shoot, there's a person I don't know. Which I'm sure there's a person I don't know. So I had to get the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle. I had seen people show this on Instagram and stuff. And it is so cute. It's so cute. Had to have it. Um... And, and I think Simon has it and said that he really loved it. And it's an Oracle deck. So you know if it's an Oracle that Simon loves? Now, I'm an Oracle person too. So I'm not that, you know, as like restrictive or, or picky about Oracle. And it's fine if you are. But that's just an added thing. Like if Simon's showing an Oracle that he really loves, then I probably have to have it. Because he's got that extra filter on it, right? So I got these. Look how cute little matching boxes oh amazing and then she has moon altar cards and I had to get those as well now these I ordered I've had these sitting here since I think these arrived in October okay so this is a thing I will do I have decks that I just keep wrapped up for a long time and um so maybe you'll see unboxings or unwrappings of some of those so this is called Luna Botanica, and this is her, um, oh, there's a fourth person here, Chris and Jackie and Kristen and someone. Hello, someone. There's probably a place where I can see, but I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not going to touch anything. So let me see if I can get this open. Oh, yes, thewhitewitchoracle.com. So these are all from that creator. And again, just really beautiful stuff. I'll start with this one because I think you've seen the others probably. Deanne, you are a temptress. My four days might not <laughs> last much longer. I, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I really love these and I waited a while. I think the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle was maybe sold out for a little while and then it came back and I'm like, okay, I can't wait much longer for that. And then Kelly Fitzgerald and others showed the, the Witch is Familiar. And I thought, oh, shoot, I better get those right now. <laughs> oh, a temptress. I like that. That might be my new name. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so check these out. Um, Capricorn. Okay, so I, again, remember when I was talking about I love when people just pile on associations. And this isn't. This is just two. But I'm like, yeah, throw it in there. Let's, what can you add to it? So these are Oracle cards and they're moon like altar cards. So the first one is Capricorn and Pansy. So this reminds me a little bit of like New Choice Tarot de Marseille, which combines um, a flower with each card, a different one, 78 cards and a different flower. So, um, so here's Capricorn and Pansy. And it says reliability, willpower, simplicity, order. Um, I want to show, okay, there, I kind of tip it a little bit so you can see the colors. So beautiful. And these are big, like, look at next to my face. Hmm. 
Taurus and Poppy. It's so just, I mean, and these say Luna Botanica on the back, but that doesn't bother me. I kind of can't see it here. Um, Cause these are more to just, I mean, you could use them as an Oracle. You could round those corners out if you wanted and, um, and make it a deck, but these are pretty big, right? This is to kind of sit on your, in your sacred space um, for that moon, like when it's Taurus moon, right? Um, and I thought it was cool that they, they were zodiac phases. <clears throat> I have, I love astrology. I have lots of astrology decks, um, but I liked that this was less moon phase and more of the zodiac phase. So this is different than anything I have, right? So I had to get it. <clears throat> oh, the fourth person left us. That's fine. Oh, and I see my timer now. I'm just coming up to an hour. I just need so much help sometimes. Taurus and Poppy. Resilience, pleasure, security, comfort. So that's that. Let's see. What are you all? Chris is a... Mm. gotta be November right hmm I should remember this why don't I remember because Jilly and Becca are early December Chris was before that or are you oh shit uh like the very end November 30th or something and I don't think I know Jackie's birthday. I'm obsessed. I'm probably going to have to learn. I was like, Chris is a what? <laughs> oh, yeah, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, what day is your birthday, Chris? Is it the very end? November 30th or December 1st? Something like that? Oh, no, Scorpio. Then it wouldn't be the end because that's Sagittarius. So hmm, somewhere around there. Scorpio and chrysanthemum. Complexity. My best friend is a Scorpio. Um, so I know all about you people. Uh, nuance, unfolding, and healing. First of November. Okay, I thought it was like the last day or the first day. And Kristen, I, I have a really weird memory for birthdays. There's only a couple of people in my life, like, even closer like Facebook acquaintances that I don't know their birthday. I don't know why it just is in there. Like I knew, um, oh, Jackie is a Libra, same day as Simon. So that's um, October 15th, right? <laughs> See, I just know. Um, I'm also a Libra. I'm September 24th. Um, Kristen is November 21. Oh, I have a November 21 person. Oh, no, I don't. My ex-boyfriend, who I'm still very close with, he's November 20. So I, I don't know if I have a November 21. But, like, I'll just remember that now. This is a Libra and Scorpio only chat right now. Did you notice that? So, um, and we all get along really well. So it's good that the four of us are hanging out today. <laughs> um, anyway, nuance, unfolding, and healing. That's for the Scorpio. Um. So I don't remember all of them, Kristen, but I just know like just this past um, November, I remember, you know, I had subscribed to Chris's channel and knew um, when his birthday came up and I knew that it was like the last day or the first day of a month. And so then he said Scorpio, so I kind of figured it out. So that one I didn't know, but now I always will. I don't know. That's just, it's a hidden meaningless talent <laughs> that I have. Virgo is morning glory. Clarity, thoughtfulness, reflection, organization, Pisces with the Lotus. Oh, that's perfect for Pisces, isn't it? Wisdom, um, knowledge, psychic, empathic. Oh, that's so good. Cancer is the white rose. I think that's also perfect for them. Sensitivity, perception, intuition, nurturing. This is cool. And I think this would be a cool gift. I try to think about things like I've, I've never sent a gift to a tarot friend before, like a YouTube tarot friend. I was 
rambling the other day about how I've never sold or passed on a deck. And I was putting a clarification on that, that when I, if I buy a bundle of decks and there's a duplicate in there or something like that, um, or I just randomly had two um, celestial tarots because I thought they were different versions, but they weren't like they had a different cover at one point. And so I bought it secondhand from someone online, but it really wasn't different. But then I passed that. I just gifted that to my friend, Barb, who I know like in real life. Um, so, and I just say in real life, like, as a pseudo gamer. So not that you all aren't real or in my life. Morning glory, that dark Scorpio sense of humor is kicking in. <laughs> oh, Chris. Uh Oh, my child is screaming. I'll be right back if you can hang out and then we'll wrap up shortly after I come back. But we don't want to leave Max fussing, do we? Talk amongst yourselves, Scorpio and Libra. Yeah, all right. All right, friends, I'm back and I have a little Max. I don't know if he should really be on YouTube, but 
we'll just be here for a few minutes and then we'll say goodbye. <laughs> um, so sorry for the extra delay. Um, Max, oh no, baby, don't touch those. This is why this is a special are room. Those my baby scissors? Those are not baby scissors. Okay, look up here. Those are mamas. Look at there's friends in there. Can you say hi? You can't? I can't. I want to watch real videos. You want to watch real videos? Yeah. You are the video right now. But I want to watch <laughs> this video. That's us. I want to watch it. <gasps> Honey, yeah, you better smile. No. <laughs> you better smile. No, I want oh, something no. else. Honey, listen. This is what happens after no, video time. No, 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 no. I swear he's a very sweet boy. So the extra delay happened because my mom was trying to get a hold of me to pick up things for um, some clothes to take to the funeral home for my grandma. So we're going to wrap this up now because as you can see, no, no, no. Here, I'll give you a treat. Watch. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to give you. Here. Do you want that little deer? Yeah. Can you open it up? Yeah, we can open that up. So we showed, okay, let's show the, just the rest of these and then we'll get going. <laughs> so here's Aquarius and Orchid. Look at that card. Yeah. This is uniqueness, curiosity, invention, and contradiction. And you to open this up? I'll open it for you. Okay. Aquarius and Orchid. And then it's time for Mama to work, too. Yeah. Yeah, I took an early lunch break. Yeah. Here you go. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Sit yeah. So, <clears throat> Max got excited because I told him is Grammy was here. <clears throat> um, this is kind of a toy. It's like for a little fairy garden. Can yeah. you grab them out? Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's a little reindeer? Yeah. Okay. And here is Gemini and Lavender. You can kind of see. And this says, oh, don't push. Self-expression, productiveness, and sharing. Here. Here, put them on your little clip box. Sagittarius and narcissist. Bear. Influence, directness, trustworthiness, and Just honesty. There's that. Yeah. And then Libra and classic Bear. rose. Truth, uh -oh, there. beauty, Why balance, and justice. That? So here's for me oh, and Jackie. Oh, my dear, Mama. I will get your dear in a moment. Oh, very good job. Aries and honeysuckle. This is beautiful. Leadership, confidence, charm, and grace. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, is he eating? Here, he could eat right there. Nom, 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 and then last but not least, nom, Leo nom, and sunflower. Generosity, openness, self-assurance, and faithfulness. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see a big deer. You see a big deer? I want a big deer. Okay, we'll get him, okay? Or I think that's the mama one. We'll get her. Okay. Friends, one. thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I'm not going to crack into um, Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle and the Rune Deck right now. Um, we'll save that and maybe do a little side-by-side -side later. Not that they're the same, but they're the same hey! size. So we will do that at a later date. Um, maybe I'll pop on um, some mornings or find a good time. Um, but anyway, we'll be doing a few more lives here in the near future. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning and giving me something to do. Aries will forevermore be the nom 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 star sign. <laughs> Oh, Chris. Okay, so you know who's in there is Chris and Jackie and Kristen. Yeah. Those are my tarot friends. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say bye, everyone? Bye, everyone. Say, we hope to see you soon. We hope to see you soon. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Thank you so much, Jackie, and Chris, bye. and Kristen. Oh, is your dear saying bye? Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay. Oh, I'm my little baby dear. Your little baby dear. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, dear. I want to see